What's up guys, it's Hero here and today I'm going to be helping you guys get the Dagger Talisman. I've seen a lot of guides on it so far because I was looking for it myself and a lot of them start off in an area that you don't necessarily have unlocked, especially if you just got there for the very first time. So I said, fuck it, I'll make a guide on it myself. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get into it. First things first is you want to start off at the Volcano Manor, which can be located here. If you already have it unlocked, then you're good to go. But if you don't, then I'll leave a quick little instruction guide on how to get here in the description. So definitely check that out. However, when you first start here, you want to talk to this lady over here and she'll give you a key. Once you get that key, you actually want to turn around, go to your left and go to your immediate right and open this door here. Once you go through here, you want to knock down the bookcase and there should be an invisible wall. You'll be greeted by a snail that you can quickly jump over and you want to keep moving forward and hug the right side of the wall. You end up going down a pair of stairs and eventually you'll hit a gate. Once you get through this gate, you want to hug the right side again until you hit a gateway. Once you go through there, look towards your left, there should be a pair of stairs and you end up in a weird little church. There's a grace here and there's also a double door that you'll need to open. Then you want to look right. Once you go on the right, you want to actually run on the rooftops and be careful because there will be a snake on top of the rooftop. Then you'll see a gap between you and another rooftop and you'll jump across. Once on the other side, you actually want to fall off the rooftop and then you want to go up the stairs that will be directly in front of you. There will be a stone statue here that you can go through, but we'll be making a detour to our left. Now these double doors that you see on my screen won't be open for you, so you'll actually have to go off to the left side and jump over the little railing. Once you jump over the railing on your right side, there should be a double door that you can go through. Once you go through there, you want to make a mad left and be careful of the enemies that are here because they will rush you down. And then you want to go down the stairs. You can jump like I did, but I'm just a cool kid. It just be like that. And then you want to make a left. Once you make that left, you want to go past the guy laying in a chair all weirdly and look towards your right. Open the double door and you'll be greeted by a grace. From this grace, you're going to make your way through the double doors again, make a right, and go through these double doors, and then go ahead and jump on down. Trust me, you won't die. Then you want to jump over the slugs that you see in the middle of the lava river. Trust me, you can walk through it as well, you won't die and you want to go up the pair of stairs. A big reason I even started this guide in the first place is because once I got up here, I didn't notice the elevator right in front of me. I do recommend killing the snake because he can kill you while on the elevator. Kind of like that, but he didn't kill me. Once the elevator ride is complete, you want to go ahead and go up the stairs past this guy. Kind of cool, you can kill him for his set. And then you will go through the double doors. Once you get in this cathedral area, you will have to fight a godskin noble and it will be your boss fight. Once he's dead, you will get access to the grace here. Then you want to go up the elevator, which is actually quite easy to do. Once up the elevator, you want to go around this balcony until you reach the left side. Then you want to jump off. From here, you want to go ahead and head towards the slugs on a bridge. Recommendation is to kill them because if you don't, they will probably knock you off and then you'll die. You want to stop here, look towards your left, and you want to drop onto this platform. Then you want to jump up the next platform, and then jump up the next, and also jump up the next. Then you want to run across until you see hard rock and lava. Jump on that and keep it moving. Be careful, there will be an enemy that does come out of nowhere from around the corner. Go ahead and roll and dodge him a little bit and jump through the window. From here, you can use the ladder to your left, but you're actually going to go through this little door here. You'll see a lizard. Hey man, how are you? Jump off to the side, roll, and keep it moving. Then you want to go through here. I'm only going to show you this because it's interesting and useful. And there's an elevator here. And if you go down this elevator, this will actually bring you back down to the chapel from where you killed the Godskin Noble. This will come in handy just in case you end up dying on your way to the Dagger Talisman. But that's not the point of this video, so let's get back to it. So from that beautiful elevator, you just want to keep moving forward and eventually you'll see a lizard with a fire sword and fire whip. Just go past them until you reach a door. Once through the door, you want to go ahead and head towards your right through another door. And from there, you want to run to your left side of stairs. Once through here, you want to keep moving forward and you will need two stone swords for this door. So make sure you read the description because it told you that as well. Before you jump down here, you want to look towards your right and you actually want to fall down this. Trust me, you won't die, but if you do, that sucks. Go through the double door, and as soon as you make it to the top, you will see this hallway. You wanna go up the stairs to your right. You probably will end up killing him because he's kind of annoying. 
or at least he annoyed me. Then you want to go through the double door and stop and go to your right because you should see a body hanging from a scaffolding and that body will contain the dagger talisman. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you out. See you guys in the next one. Later.